At Eastern Health, we strive to provide you with information about the nursing home options that we offer. Whether you are in your own home, hospital, or personal care home, or if you are in a nursing home and considering transfer to a different nursing home, this video will provide you with information about Eastern Health nursing home options. This video may also be helpful to family members who live out of the area and have not had an opportunity to see your new home. Eastern Health is Newfoundland's largest health care authority. Our long-term care program operates a number of nursing homes and protective community residences. These services are based on a number of partnerships. Included in the nursing home options, Eastern Health operates beds at the Caribou Memorial Veterans Pavilion at the Leonard A. Miller Center in St. John's. Eastern Health also has partnerships with private home operators and faith-based organizations. If you live in the community and are considering nursing home placement, you or your family should call the Eastern Health office in your area. For office listings, see your telephone book or visit the Eastern Health website and view the telephone list under the contact tab. If you're in the hospital at the time you need to go to a home, the hospital social worker will help you apply. A number of our nursing homes offer short stay services such as respite, Respite bookings are coordinated through placement services. For more information about short stay services, please see our website. Once your assessment is completed, it will be reviewed by placement services. When your application is approved for nursing home care, your name will be added to the waitlist and you will receive a letter from placement services. Qualifying veterans may contact Veterans Affairs Canada to apply to the Caribou Memorial Veterans Pavilion. Additional information about accessing a nursing home can be found on Eastern Health's website. Nursing staff are available at all of our nursing homes and provide a range of services to meet each resident's individualized care plan, from personal hygiene needs to more complex medical management such as wound care. Our long-term care sites have a range of health care professionals available at each site and may include physiotherapy, occupational therapy, clinical dietitian, social work, therapeutic recreation, music therapy, pastoral care service, psychology, and speech language pathology. Admission to a nursing home is based on the care and service you need and the home's ability to meet your care needs. In order to be admitted to one of the nursing homes, you need to be assessed as requiring level three or level four care. This means that you need moderate to total help with activities such as feeding, bathing, and walking. Eastern Health offers specialized services called WanderGuard or Protective Care, which provide a safe environment for residents who may be at risk of getting lost if they leave the unit or home unaccompanied. Residents on some units are required to wear a bracelet, which will alarm to let staff know they are near an exit. Other units may have a coded lock on the door to prevent residents from leaving. Only residents who require this will be admitted to this type of service, which is offered at our community protective residences and designated units at some of our nursing homes. This video will highlight which homes offer this as an option. Pleasant View Towers is a 461-bed long-term care facility located at 65 Newfoundland Drive in St. John's. In addition to a number of regular units, Pleasant View Towers has specialized units, including protective care, wander guard, complex care, young adult, and a unit for residents with developmental delays. One of the units at Pleasant View Towers is a satellite unit of the Waterford Hospital, and it's operated by the Mental Health Program. Accommodations at Pleasant View Towers include primarily single bedrooms with a shared bathroom, a limited number of double rooms where two residents share a bedroom and a bathroom, and a small number of private rooms with a private bathroom. Meals are cooked on site, and each unit has a resident dining room, and you are given the option of eating in the dining room or in your own room. There is also a cafe where you, your family, visitors, and staff are able to purchase items. Therapeutic recreation activities are available, and staff offer on-unit activities as well as large group activities in the multi-purpose rooms in the East and West residences. Pleasant View Towers has several additional on-site resources, including occupational therapy, 
physiotherapy, clinical dietitian, pet therapy, speech language pathology, social work, and music therapy. There is a worship space available on the main floor of the East and West residences and pastoral care services are available. Hair salons are located next to the main entrance in both the East and West residences and are open Monday to Friday. Pleasant View Towers has a designated space for the future development of a gift shop, which will contain standard gift shop items such as snacks, small gifts, and greeting cards. Space has also been designated for the future development of a wellness visiting practitioner clinic. There are a number of wheelchair accessible garden areas available for you and your visitors use. The wheelchair accessible bus is used for community outings. Pleasant View Towers offers free public access to Wi-Fi and basic cable. The home has been designed to meet the requirements of leadership in energy and environmental design silver standards. The Salvation Army Glenbrook Lodge is a 105-bed long-term care facility located at 105 Torbay Road in St. John's. It is a faith-based nursing home owned by the Governing Council of the Salvation Army Canada and is operated in partnership with Eastern Health. Glenbrook primarily has semi-private rooms with a shared bathroom. There are a limited number of private rooms with private bathrooms. Once admitted, you can ask to be placed on a wait list for a private room. Meals are cooked on site and can be enjoyed in the common dining area. Residents can enjoy their lunch or supper in the resident dining room or in the comfort of their room. Snacks are provided twice daily and are served on the resident units. Glenbrook Lodge has several common areas available for your use, including the lounge at the main entrance, the Joseph Acton Center where many large therapeutic recreation group activities occur, and the second floor lounge which hosts various recreation activities. Throughout the home there are also several smaller lounges and common areas that you can use. Glenbrook Lodge has a chapel and pastoral care services are provided by the home's chaplain and clergy from various denominations who offer worship services weekly and monthly. At this home, there are a number of services available on site, including therapeutic recreation, occupational therapy, physiotherapy, clinical dietitian, and social work. There are two palliative care rooms at Glenbrook Lodge, as well as a family room that loved ones can avail of when a resident is palliative. Hair care services are available and Glenbrook Lodge also hosts a canteen. Brookside Garden is a relaxing, accessible garden that is maintained by Glenbrook volunteers. The Agnes Pratt Home is located at 239 Topsail Road, St. John's. It is a faith-based nursing home which is operated by the United Church of Canada in partnership with Eastern Health. The Agnes Pratt Home contains four nursing units, Pratt Place, Stella Burry Place, Fairhaven Protective Care Unit, and the Southview Wandergard Unit. Home to 132 permanent residents, the Agnes Pratt Home offers both private and semi-private rooms. Each private room features its own washroom, while residents in semi-private rooms share a washroom. The Agnes Pratt Home offers an extensive recreational program providing activities to each unit on a daily basis along with many large group activities. The Gathering Square and the Tea Room are available for families to reserve at any time. Services available on site include occupational therapy, physiotherapy, clinical dietitian and social work. Home cooked meals are prepared at the home. You have the option to eat in the main dining room or in the unit dining areas. Chapel services are offered every Wednesday and Sunday at 11 a.m. in our Grushi Memorial Chapel. There are many lovely outdoor spaces available for you and your families to enjoy, including our large main patio off the tea room. Our front entrance is equipped with outdoor chairs, and most units have their own patios or gardens. Hair care services are available. The Agnes Pratt Home also offers two private respite rooms one located on a Wander Guard unit and one on an open unit. These rooms feature cable and phone services. St. Luke's Homes is located at 24 Road Deluxe, St. John's, surrounded by St. Luke's Cottages, Bab Manor and Bishop Meaden Manor. 
St. Luke's Homes is a faith-based nursing home operated by Anglican Homes Incorporated in partnership with Eastern Health. It is home to 117 residents and provides a range of private, semi-private, three and four bed accommodations. There are a limited number of private rooms you can waitlist for after admission to the home. St. Luke's Homes also provides respite services. Meals are homemade and served in the main dining room. This same room acts as an afternoon tea room for you and your family. You have the option of enjoying meals on your individual units where a lounge and kitchenette is available. Resident units have additional items available if you wish to have something to eat outside of scheduled meals and snacks. St. Luke's Homes has a chapel, wheelchair accessible bus, beauty parlor, pet therapy, therapeutic recreation, music therapy, social work, clinical dietitian, occupational therapy, physiotherapy, pastoral care, end-of-life angel care program, as well as a secure unit for dementia care service. St. Luke's Homes has a wheelchair accessible garden, patio spaces, and common lounge that you and your family can book for private functions. The St. Luke's Adult Day program is community-based, offering supports to seniors and their families dealing with physical and cognitive decline. The program operates daily, Monday to Friday, year long, and provides transportation and escort for participants who qualify. The program provides a range of services, including recreation, personal care, meals, physiotherapy, and music therapy. The Mildred Boys Cottage is located on the grounds of St. Luke's Homes. It is available for families of residents of any of the Eastern Health nursing homes in the city and is designed to provide affordable temporary accommodations for residents' families residing outside the St. John's area. This fully equipped cottage can accommodate four guests. Reservations are required and coordinated by St. Luke's Homes. The Dr. Walter Templeman Healthcare Center is located in beautiful Belle Island, just a short 20 minute ferry ride from Portugal Cove. This long-term care unit has 15 beds. There are a maximum of three residents per room. This unique healthcare facility provides a variety of healthcare services, including outpatient emergency services, respite and palliative care. Meals are prepared daily on site. There is a family room available and an outside deck area that can be used for private family functions or social gatherings. Beauticians, pastoral care and other services are available to you in the community. St. Patrick's Mercy Home is located at 146 Elizabeth Avenue, St. John's. It is a faith-based home that is operated by the Sisters of Mercy in partnership with Eastern Health. It is home to 210 residents and primarily offers semi-private rooms. The semi-private rooms have a shared bathroom. St. Patrick's also has a small number of wards shared by four residents. The ward rooms also have a shared bathroom. There are a small number of private rooms available that you can waitlist for following your admission. Meals are cooked at the home and you are encouraged to have your meals in the dining room. There are additional kitchenettes on each unit should you wish to have something additional to eat or drink outside of the scheduled meals and snack times. St. Patrick's has several on-site resources, including occupational therapy, physiotherapy, pastoral care, clinical dietitian, pet therapy, therapeutic recreation, social work, and music therapy. There is a chapel available for worship, and there are a number of resident and family lounges for your use and the recreation area is a multi-purpose area used for recreational activities. Families can also book the recreation lounge for private events. The gift shop and the Red Rose Cafe are open daily for you and your family to enjoy. St. Patrick's has a wheelchair accessible garden to be enjoyed with your family and friends. St. Patrick's also offers full-time beauty and barber shop open Monday to Friday. The Caribou Memorial Veterans Pavilion is located on Forest Road in St. John's at the Dr. L. A. Miller Center site and is operated by Eastern Health in partnership with Veterans Affairs Canada. It is home to 56 residents, including veterans. All rooms on the dementia care unit are private with a shared bathroom. Most of the rooms on the other units are semi-private. 
there are a small number of private rooms that you may waitlist for after your admission. Meals are prepared off-site at the central kitchen and are served in a home-style manner by our friendly kitchen staff. You are encouraged to gather in the dining room for your meals and there are two choices at every meal. Each unit has a resident family kitchen area should you wish to have something additional to eat outside of your scheduled meals and snack times. The Caribou Sunroom is a multi-purpose area used by residents for recreation activities, worship, and private family functions. There is a recreational calendar posted monthly and activities are scheduled Monday through Friday. The atrium on the first floor of the building is used for larger social gatherings and memorial services which occur on a regular basis. The Caribou Memorial Veterans Pavilion also has a number of resident and family lounges for daytime and evening use. It has two gardens that can be used by you and your family. One is located off the Caribou Sunroom and the other can be accessed through the Dementia Care Unit. Both are wheelchair accessible and you are invited to take part in the gardening program. There is a barber who visits every six weeks for haircuts. And there is also a salon at the Dr. L.A. Miller Center site for scheduled appointments. Lions Manor Nursing Home located in Placentia is a 75 bed facility. Two of these beds being reserved for respite care. One respite bed is located on a regular unit while the other is located on the protective care unit. Two of our regular units have a total of 47 beds and contain both private and semi-private rooms. Our protective care unit consists of 28 beds, which are primarily private rooms with some semi-private. The protective care unit is locked and a code is required when entering and exiting the unit. A wander guard system is also in place. There is an enclosed garden which can be accessed by residents and families. Lions Manor also has a palliative care room. Myrtle's Garden is a beautiful courtyard for you and your family to enjoy. Residents use the space for barbecues, gardening, and bird watching. The Carboneer Long-Term Care Facility is located at 86 High Road South in Carboneer, adjacent to the Carboneer General Hospital. It is home to 228 residents and has eight nursing units, including specialized units such as protective care, wander guard, and complex care units. Most of the resident rooms are single bedrooms with a shared bathroom. There are some double rooms throughout the home with a shared bathroom and a number of private rooms. Meals are cooked and prepared in the kitchen on site. Each unit has a resident dining room and you're given the option of eating in the dining room or in your own room. You, your family, visitors, and staff are able to purchase items from the cafeteria during regular hours and through vending machines after hours. Therapeutic recreation services are available at Carbonair Long-Term Care. Some activities are offered on the units and large group activities are offered in the multi-purpose room. Spiritual space is located next to the multi-purpose room and pastoral care services are offered. Hair care services are available and the home has free public access to Wi-Fi and basic cable. The Carboneer Long-Term Care Facility has been designated to meet the requirements of leadership in energy and environmental design silver standards. Bluecrest Home is located in Grand Bank. It is home to 60 long-term care residents and has a palliative care room that is available to clients in the community. At Blue Crest Home, there are 26 semi-private rooms and 9 private rooms. Meals at Blue Crest are prepared at the home. Breakfast is served in your room while other meals are served in the dining room. The common room at Blue Crest is a multi-purpose room. This space is used for large and small activities which are highlighted on the monthly therapeutic recreation calendar. You and your family are invited to participate in activities offered at the home and are also encouraged to enjoy Blue Crest's accessible gardens. There's a wheelchair accessible bus available to take you to medical appointments and for social outings. U.S. Memorial Health Care Center is located in St. Lawrence. It is home to 40 residents and primarily offers private rooms. All rooms have their own bathroom. 
In addition to regular units, U.S. Memorial has a 10-bed protective care unit and two additional beds designated for short-stay services such as convalescence, respite, and palliative care. Homestyle meals are cooked on-site and served in the common dining room. There are a variety of items also available at the home if you wish to have something additional to eat outside of scheduled meal and snack times. There is a large recreation room that is used daily for recreation activities and events and is also available to you and your family for private functions. U.S. Memorial has a beautiful patio and garden space for you and your family's enjoyment. You are encouraged to participate in the gardening program offered by the Recreation Department. A chapel is available for worship services and quiet prayer time. U.S. Memorial has a hair salon and a local hairdresser visits once a week. Golden Heights Manor Nursing Home is located in Bonavista. It is home to 70 residents and offers both private and semi-private rooms. There are 14 semi-private rooms with shared baths. There are 42 private rooms available that you may wait list for after your admission. Meals are prepared in-house. There is a kitchenette that you and your family may use to share meals and can be booked for private functions. The Gladys Copeland Groves Lounge is a multi-purpose area. This space is used as a worship space as well as for recreational activities. There are a number of resident and family lounges for your use and a wheelchair accessible pavilion. Golden Heights Manor also has a hair salon and the stylist visits weekly. The wheelchair accessible resident bus is available for community outings. The Bonavista Protective Community Care Residence, located in Bonavista, is home to 12 residents requiring protective care. Residents must be independently ambulatory without walking aids. All rooms are private with shared bathrooms. Meals are prepared in the on-site kitchen and served in the dining room. Daily recreation activities are offered in the lounge and there is a secure resident garden. The wheelchair accessible resident bus is used for community outings and a visiting hairstylist provides hair care services. Dr. Albert O'Mani Memorial Manor Nursing Home, located in Clarenville, is home to 44 residents and has three wings, the meadow, the harbor, and the countryside. Each wing has 14 to 15 rooms consisting of single bedrooms with a shared bathroom, private rooms with a private bathroom, and two semi-private rooms. Meals are cooked at the GB Cross Hospital and brought to the home through a link which connects the nursing home and the hospital. You are encouraged to have your meals in the Harvest Dining Room, or if you wish, you may have your meal in the comfort of your own room. In addition to the main dining room, a small family kitchenette is available for private family celebrations. Dr. Albert O'Mani Manor has a spacious, bright, multi-purpose room used for worship, recreation activities, or can be booked by you or your family for private functions. In addition to the great room, each wing has its own sitting room with fridge, sink, and microwave that family members can use. There is a wheelchair accessible outdoor garden and you are invited to take part in the gardening program. Dr. Albert O'Mani Manor also has a hair salon which is open one day a week. The Clarenville Community Care Residence located in Clarenville is home to 12 residents requiring protective care. Residents must be independently ambulatory. All rooms are private with shared bathrooms. Meals are prepared on site and served in the dining room. Daily recreation activities are offered in the lounge and there is a secure garden available. If you wish to have more information about any of the homes in this video, please contact the social worker at the home to schedule a tour. For more information about our long-term care program and the placement process, please see our website. We hope that this video provides you with the information you need about our facilities and the options available to you.